you, you said it from the get-go, this is an image uh, and more than just words, we need images and we don't need to be against something, we need to be drawn into something else. Uh, so you have plenty of uh, circles or donuts behind you as well. What, what is so attractive about this image? I even have one right here on the stick. <laughs> the benefits of lockdown, right? You have everything on a stick. Um, so so the, the donut is like a compass for human prosperity in the 21st century. It's one way of envisioning the future of the world we want. So if you imagine humanity's use of Earth's resources, since we're here talking about metabolism, the use of Earth's resources radiating out from the center, it means the hole in the middle is a place where people are left falling short on the essentials of life. It's where people don't have the resources they need for health and education, food and housing, income, transport, connectivity, political voice and equality. Leave nobody in the hole, fine. But as we bring everybody out of the hole, there's also an outer limit here. Don't go over this ecological ceiling because that is the way we collectively start to put so much pressure on this planet's life supporting systems that we begin to kick our planetary home out of balance. That's where we cause climate breakdown and we acidify the oceans. We create a hole in the ozone layer. We cause critical loss of biodiversity and break down the web of life. So in the simplest of terms, the goal of the donut is to meet the needs of all people within the means of the living planet. And the first thing it does actually is, is transform the shape in our minds of what we think progress looks like. Because the 20th century told us in every economics textbook and every political speech and every, on the, the pages of the newspapers, here we are, this was the shape of progress. <laughs> you have all every, your props ready I for have it. All my toys. <laughs> hey, if you're going to be locked down in your office for a year, you might as well have some toys. So there's never ending growth it goes to the ceiling off the screen up through the ceiling nobody asks what happens when we hit the ceiling and go through this was the shape of progress and we need to transform that and that's what the goal the do the donut is part of and as you just said you know it's one thing to protest and critique what's wrong what's wrong with the old what's wrong with gdp fine but we're never going to transform the world by critiquing things as buckminster fuller said you never change things by fighting the existing reality to change something build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete so i think of the diagrams that i was taught in my economics textbooks i think of them like intellectual graffiti very hard to scrub out so stop scrubbing let's paint them over with an amazing mural of something actually better and that's the power of pictures they give us a new worldview and that's what the donut aims to do and i think when i first drew the donut diagram back in 2012 It was published in the run-up to the Rio Plus 20 conference mm -hmm. on sustainable development. And so many people said to me, you know, I've always thought of sustainable development like this. I've just, I've just never seen the picture. And I could see that it was empowering to people to have a picture in the hand, to have something to point to, to feel that they could visualize this vision of the world they wanted to create. And that's what drove me to, to leave my job at Oxfam and write the book as the most effective act of advocacy I could do at the time. <laughs> 